Now, you wouldn't think malaria and coronavirus had anything in com common, but re some researchers are suggesting an old malaria drug could help treat this virus. It's called chloroquine. Deborah Severin's Addy Guajardo spoke with a local doctor who has used this med medicine before, and we get some perspective tonight. The drug chloroquine is no stranger. It's used to treat malaria. So chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine. And today, President Trump announced it's one of the drugs being tested to treat COVID-19 symptoms. But it's also used routinely in the United States to treat, treat things like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it's also being heavily studied in the world of cancer. Dr. Jean Mokehi Levy, an investigator at the University of Colorado Cancer Center, has been studying the drug since 2009. What chloroquine is doing is blocking the recycling program and therefore blocking building supplies essentially for cancer cells or infected cells or rheumatoid arthritis cells. She says it's safe. You know, I'm currently using it in pediatric brain tumor patients. And describes the side effects as non-life-threatening. The main side effect people worry about with chloroquine is eye problems. It has also been associated with seizures, um, bad dreams. A Denver 7 viewer who wanted to remain anonymous raised concerns about the drug. She was describing psychotic episodes and she's warning completely against it. Has that been reported in the past? Chloroquine is a drug um, that has been described as giving really sort of hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic bad dreams to patients who take it. Dr. Mokehi Levy says it's unclear how chloroquine is helping treat COVID-19, but says reports out of France and Australia are encouraging. You're still probably looking at, you know, six to 12 months until you have really solid clinical data or information. And unfortunately, we just can't move faster than that and be safe at the same time. Now, at this time, no drug has been approved to treat COVID-19. Now, an FDA official does say that they are working on a large clinical evaluation of this drug. Reporting live in Denver, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. Thank you, Addie.